Hey guys, welcome to Season 2, Episode 10 of Legacies. Here we go. Gas leak? <laughs> it's always a gas leak. Wow. You will be a troll married to Jed and live in a garbage can. Mr. <laughs> Chang has a roommate. Pray for her. What the hell? I need my chemistry of magic textbook. And more importantly, why are you on my bed? <laughs> I thought it'd be nice if it saw some action. Crushing at landings. Have fun holding hands. See, I thought that was her. Oh god. Why can no one see that thing? I don't necessarily fully understand that. So it's going after her. Why is she such a bitch? <laughs> She's always been full of herself. Okay, that's... Uh... Well, it's better than your solution of covering it in concrete and dropping it in the ocean. Maybe I deserve the black magic to just boomerang back to me. Let's cut yourself some That's stuff. not a bad idea. You made a mistake. Cover it in Wait, concrete and drop it in the ocean, you know? idea, but better. The prison wall. Absolutely not. No, this is perfect. There's a celestial event tonight, a meteor shower, and that is what we need to make the Ascendant work, mm. right? But yeah, that and Bennett Blood. No, I said no! Don't do anything. You know who is down there. You know who. It's bad enough that Sebastian ghosted me, but now Dad's acting like an annoying control freak. I feel like let us Sebastian like is... Caught it, Uncle Kai. Then what if we sent it to a different one? Make a new assignment like, and a new prison in prison no or something. Homicidal uncles. If we did it when you were five. With Aunt Bonnie, I mean, we can't do this alone. Then I'll find someone. Why don't we call Aunt Bonnie? How hard could it be? Just kidding. <laughs> when I asked for training, I sort of meant for beginners. <laughs> Maybe just try talking to her. Bullies hate being confronted. I guess I could try that, Dr. Kirby. Hey. Have you walking instead of running headfirst into danger? It's definitely dangerous. It's a more of Miserium. If it shatters, all the black magic goes into trees. Who are you talking to? Oh. I didn't know oh. it still existed. I'd learn how to repair one. <laughs> Gotta find myself a bomb expert. <laughs> a magical bomb expert. You flew from Japan. For coming day? Of course. <laughs> Why wouldn't I? Interesting. <laughs> to learn about the individual covens that make up our magical community. Hey, uh, you seen a Coven lot? day. No, not today. Lovely. Is she possessed? Oh, I don't mind having a roommate. I just don't like you. Okay. Um, maybe we could talk about boundaries. Start over. She's blaming you. For oh. Everything. You're right. It's like an evil. Back to when I had the room to myself. Person on her shoulder, literally. <clears throat> but I've done some research, and I think I have an answer. Poor guy. I've been misdiagnosed. I'm not a witch. I'm a fairy. <laughs> I know it's out there, um, but uh, I also never knew my parents, so maybe they were eaten by Malivore. Maybe you could be eaten by Malivore so we can forget your whole presentation. <laughs> <laughs> Does anyone else see it? A waste of fairy space? 
<laughs> Why is she so mean? Good hope. Don't let anyone make you look weak. What is it? How does it do this? So it can just latch onto everybody? What? Oh, great. You being mean is not what we need. Oh, God. Cute shoes. Oh, God. Mm. They look better on me. Oh, God. You cannot protect him. Get rid of him before you lose him. Your advice was useless, Landon. Just like you. This is bad. This is so bad. It's <laughs> like... I've got a theory. Same thing. Get into it. What do you got? We're dealing with a Kareen. It's an Arabian monster that whispers insecurities and becoming stronger and affecting more and more people until it materializes into our plane. Right now, it's out of phase. It's invisible and intangible. The Malibu portal is closed. Well, that makes sense. I mean, isn't it? I don't know how it got here, but it's definitely real. The portal reopened. But... You said it's invisible. Huh. Not to fairies. This dude so, is a fairy. We are going to try a meditative exercise. Aren't fairies smaller, though? Close your eyes. Focus on your breathing. And embrace the silence. We're in the middle of something. So am I, and my thing doesn't include, like, kumbaya circle time. <laughs> That's it. You and your sister should have been here from the start. Again, eyes closed. Focus on the silence. I don't like her. I don't. She annoys the hell out of me. I thought you wrote true crime. Right, well, you know, the genre market's hot right now. Gotcha. Great. Ethan landed himself in detention. <laughs> Apparently he fought another bully. Well, listen, Ethan's a good kid, so I'm sure he was sticking up for something smaller. But look, I am not the principal. <laughs> and to be honest, I wish this would date someone that I can. What happened to the good-looking exchange student? Yes, Sebastian. He's not right for her. And I had to let him know that. But I'm sure, like, every... I don't think he killed him. ...reasonably accepting of your point of view. Off-screen deaths just, you know, they just don't work, you know? Jeez, Rick, what'd you do? Murder him? Well, you're gonna have to give me a lawyer before I answer that question. <laughs> <laughs> Am I the only one that thinks she's annoying? It represents your connective thoughts and emotions. She really annoys me. I don't know what's worse. Hope stealing Josie's loser boyfriend, or Lizzie getting dumped by Sebastian when she's the only girl he's met since 1509. If you were enough, he wouldn't have left. Show you enough. At least I have a family. Unlike you, orphan. Damn. This is ridiculous. Everyone, go to your rooms and cool off. Yeah, go to your rooms. The two people who are having problems with each Daddy, other live in the Daddy. same room. Something's wrong. I will tell you what is wrong, okay? That hair, that shirt. <laughs> oh. Okay. <laughs> I see you have a point there. <laughs> What's going on? Again? Who'd you expel? I can't see it. I lost it. Lost what? My hidden fashion sense? I'm sorry, I didn't mean that. <laughs> you said my look was classic. And you believed that? Sorry. I think. Well, I'm looking <laughs> a lie. We're looking for the Kareen. It's a monster that makes everyone act like you. It's invisible. Only fairies can see it. 
Do you want to take this or should I? It's too easy. Can't even get any pleasure out of it. Sorry. Hey, focus. It is so much less impressive when you give the hero speeches. <coughs> that was all me. Okay, what's the plan? Then I get back home. She's awesome. She's <laughs> awesome. You do not have to be a cop to realize oh, that she's hiding something. <laughs> That's when I hear a noise in the living room. I open the closet door to find. Let me guess, it's the girlfriend. Well, I'm a little desperate. <laughs> My good kid just got in another fight. Your kid oh, got in a fight with an asshole. What do you mean? <laughs> oh, he got in another and fight, but he beat a bully. Of your own sins to let someone see a cute cop. Why does everything have to be a secret with you? Me? Oh, at least I can open up. You're never emotionally available. Oh, people can see it now. What the hell is that thing? Okay, the Kareem does have an Achilles heel. Uh, it's weak to Mer. Sinbad Scimitar and the fairies. Because you're doing the exact same thing that landed us this training. It's trying to fit in. It's delusional. I shouldn't have said that. You do know the reason I'm training is to help you with this stuff. If I need someone to die a lot or be picked on, I know who to call. <sighs> Wait, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I didn't mean that. I didn't mean that. Actually, I did. Kareem magnifies insecurities. It doesn't make them. Dang it. Hey, book nerds. There's a monster on campus. Kind of looks like that pimple Hope had last week. Are you sure it wasn't your own reflection? <laughs> the absolute Great. roasts it's in this in freaking <laughs> episode <laughs> are just case. So you know, like, great. Like They're just again. great. No one doesn't want. You. This isn't going to work, Lizzie. Or her. After what happened with Clark, I'm nervous to do even the smallest spells. Worry that the magic's gonna backfire. Oh no, it's after that, that's right. Sight. I knew that too. I had a I had a moment of forgotness. Forgetfulness. Excuse me, what is happening? Why is everything on fire? We can take this thing out, okay? We are three badass witches and one moderately competent bird. <laughs> if Santa Claus gets damaged, something really bad is gonna happen. We need to exploit a weakness to take it down fast. Except Landon's research into that was about as useful as his fighting skills. <laughs> oh my god, sorry. Love you. Or maybe my research was fine, but god forbid you use your brain instead of punching every problem. Oh crap, I'm infected. Join the club. Maybe the only one that'll have you. Sorry, monster. Why am I being affected now? I wasn't before. Oh. Okay. I might have a plan. I'm useless, like Hope said. That's because fairies run on belief. I did some research, and the more people that believe in you, the stronger your powers. No one believes yeah, but how do you- you can't believe in something if you- You can't just fake believe in something. first. Okay, look, see, this this is this is not how belief works. You can't just pretend to believe in something if you don't actually believe in it. So you're telling me all these people who have been absolute jerks to this guy for the longest time all of a sudden believe in him? Just know that everyone believes in you. They, they don't, though. <laughs> what is happening? What, what's wrong? This isn't giving me any powers. I don't think anyone really believes in me. Okay, there we go. They answered my plans question. To Muppet babies. Oh, oh, oh. What the hell are you doing? Trusting in Wade. Wait, we can't break the sand clock. You can protect yourself, let alone anyone else. Shut up. Ah. What? 
What in the world? <laughs> Dude's a literal thing. Lizzie was rushed to the infirmary with severe burns. I think we should be okay. So you took her memory? I don't understand why we're focusing so hard on this girl. I want to she wasn't even a crucial part to this episode. You point out that it could be better at letting you girls solve your own problems. Oh boy. I like this mysterious demolition expert. Does she have a name? Are you sure you guys can handle this? <laughs> Not alone, but we have help. Hope. Her speeches are so together annoying. Together we are strong <laughs> and can cast spells that none of us would be able to do ourselves. Oh, thank you, thank you for the motivation. What I said before. We yeah, don't need. Sorry for dragging us into this. Don't be. It makes an interesting story. <laughs> Love you too. That's so cool. Well done. But it's not over. We must pull together and channel our energy as one to banish the sand clock before it breaks. We all gotta stick together. She sounds like an NPC. Her character talks like someone who's just like like a objection a objective person in like a video game. Like, alright, your next objective is to do this. Alright, well done, good job. Now, you have to find a way to do the blah blah blah. So, so annoying. <laughs> have, have more dy dynamic dialogue. Oh. That seemed oddly too easy, but you know what? That job is where they come from. Okay. <laughs> I'm not gonna train you to fight with me anymore. <laughs> what if the monsters are back? I don't get that because training to fight is not just thing. about him being the hero, it's about protecting himself. If you won't train me, I'll find someone who will. So that we're both standing at the end of this? Exactly. It's not about training him so he goes out of his way to be a hero. It's so he can protect himself when you're not there. Hey, yeah, I... Shockingly, the world didn't end, so... Yet. I owe you one. You're the ball. Should you be celebrating? What just happened? The plan worked. I'm confusion. <laughs> All the queens cry together. King Landon <laughs> might hate me. What is going on? Why are they all vanishing out of you existence? Look very happy, Alyssa. What is the point of those flashbacks? I appreciate that. That that it's most recent flashback, I was I was almost like, oh, maybe she plays a role in why they just disappeared. And this is how they're actually going to tie in and make the flashbacks make sense. But like this episode is so all over the place. Trouble. I sent them away. Okay. Just like you sent the others. I've been waiting for an opportunity for weeks. Uh, Watching the saltsmen as they complained about their lives. Worried only about themselves. Okay. Well done. And then, I was waiting. I was, was like, there's got to be some kind of tie-in with her. And they're just like, it's so the random. I added a time delay spell so no one would realize what happened until it was too late. You can thank Vardimus for that one. Wow. Guess how. We're bringing them back. How? The meteor shower's over. Okay. Okay. 
You won't remember any of this. <laughs> that feels poetic, too. Alright, so they just introduced another villain. Another problem. In this episode. And they, they did tie it in well. I was waiting for that tie-in. I was like, she's gotta be the reason behind all this stuff. What the hell did you do? Prison world. It's the one you made when you were kids. Why are we here? I'm guessing Melissa Chain wants to teach me a lesson. For what? The miseducation of young minds. Sebastian. Hello, Elizabeth. Fancy meeting you here. That was a good episode. It, it took it took a second for it to all connect to make it a good episode because I was like, "What is going on? This is all over the place. This is like, where's the connection?" And they decided to wait to connect it all until the little the literal like last second of the episode. <laughs> um, very good, very good. We are in prison worlds now, which. We keep on taking that step to Kai Parker, so, um, that's very exciting. I love his character. I think he's one of the best characters in the entire universe, so, I hope to see him soon. I don't know if we will. They've, they've brought him up a lot so far this season, but he hasn't appeared yet, so, here we are, season two, episode ten almost done with season two, so we'll see. Like the video, comment down below, subscribe if you have not already. I will see y'all next time.